Well, I haven't done an angel card in three days. And I can tell that the anger that is upon me um, for certain reasons, um, it's a lot heavier. It's a lot more on the surface than it is when I do this every day. So whatever that means, um, I know that I don't want to live with the anger on the surface. I want to deal with it. I want to communicate what is going on. I want to uh, work through it. I don't want to suppress it at all. That's not what is going to happen. I mean, that's not the goal, at least. The goal is to be the best version of me, which means to communicate when there is anger upon you or me and work out solutions, work out why the anger's there and then try and move past it, whatever that means. I'm just, the anger is just so right there. It's so right there. Some people would call it the shadow, my shadow. I have, I've always had a lot of anger upon me. Um, I've definitely been told by uh, my mother too that I have, I've, I've had anger, a lot of anger. But when you look at my childhood and the loneliness and the lack of direction and comfort and structure and everything, of course I was lacking. I was lacking and now I know better. I know where I was lacking and I'm not mad about that by any means, but I know better. I know when the feelings start to hit me that action needs to be taken, that now is the time to communicate it. Now is the time to make different decisions so that the anger doesn't eat me up, swallow me whole, and then get projected on everybody else. So. Considering I know all of this, I'm going to pull an angel card. So hopefully it will help me. Hopefully it will help you. If anything like this sounds semi-familiar. So, and because this is so prevalent, because these feelings are so heavy on me right now, um, that means that I need to do it the real right way. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to first go to my kitty because he sucks up all the negative energy and it doesn't affect him at all so I give him a full few pets until we get this electric shock because we don't have it right now because my energy's off but usually whenever I pet him we have this chemistry our energies just constantly shock each other so we have to be careful oh I'm not getting any shock oh my baby all right moving on Oh, and there's another one. Let's see. Oh, hi, Squishy. Hi, Bubs. I'm sorry for disturbing you. I am going to leave her outside because she got on the counter this morning and ate all of the salami. My response to that was not great because the anger is already upon me. So, <sighs> okay, I am going to grab the selenite. Take the selenite and I'm going to cleanse my energy. I'm going to move all of that negative energy out of my body. Really what I should do, should, I hate that word. What I'm going to do is move it up so that it goes out into the universe. And my intention is that the negative energy that goes up into the universe is exchanged, transferred. I am intending the energy to go up to be redistributed in better ways because I don't want the negative energy to go to anybody else. I also don't want the energy to go to the ground because our mother earth doesn't need that energy. Oh. Starting to feel a little better, but let's keep going. I'm gonna grab my Oracle of the Seven Energies cards. 
And I'm gonna bring these back with my angel cards where I have a little spot that I just do this now every morning. I like habits, I like routine, because then it becomes something that works. All right, but first we're gonna do the angel card. Thank you universe for what was, thank you for what is, and thank you for what is to come. Our angel message of the day is expectancy. Your attitude towards the present builds your experience of the future. Hold a positive outlook. Stay miracle-minded and open to surprises. Thank you, universe. <sighs> so this is really a mindset thing. It always is. Changing the mindset. So now, all that anger, all of those feelings of whatever, judgment, betrayal, frustration, annoyance, guilt. The universe wants us to remember that basically the way we respond right now when the feelings are upon us is how we're going to respond in the future. I want to stay miracle-minded. I do. I don't. The, my desire, my future self, the best self, my best self, the one that I see 20 years from now, the one that I see 10 years from now, the one that I see at least eight years from now, I guess I still know I have a lot more growing to do, uh, is one with incredible patience, but incredible strength. And that means owning up to the feelings that are upon me and every situation right when it happens so that there's no like four years from now or then that it'll be like, well, I knew this bothered me then. Why all of a sudden now, four years later, would it not bother me? So that future me would never get to a point where the anger has been sitting and, and brewing. That me would never let that happen and would do whatever it took to protect that calm and that peace that has taken so much, so much work to gather and to find. <sighs> Stay miracle-minded, Audra. Stay miracle-minded. The universe is so gently reminding me, maybe you, is that for me to become that person that I see, I have to practice that mentality, the habits that I want to come naturally to me. I have to practice them even though I don't feel like it. So when the anger has just gone, okay, I have to do what it takes to get to a space where I can respond logically, not emotionally. I mean, obviously the anger is still there, but I do have to say that just even talking about it with myself is helping a bit. Um, I actually, from the selenite, feel less pressure in my heart. It's like there was a panic attack coming, but it's like, calm down a bit. The anger is mostly stemmed at myself for allowing it to get as powerful of a feeling as it truly is. And that then I'm angry at myself. Oh, that's not who I want to be. Be who I want now. Do what it takes. And believe that when you take those steps to be that person that you see, it'll get easier. It'll become more of a natural state of mind, a natural practice in your day-to-day -day life. All right, all right, all right, I see, I see, I see. Okay, thank you universe for the kind slap in the tush, <laughs> the kind, Hand slap. Thank you, universe, for this reminder. I think this video is already going to be long, so I will do another one with an angel card or an oracle card reading.